Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today is the first part of a two-part series having to do with whether or not I prep my pages. Now before we get into that, I just want to shout out to Leticia. She is my first ever patron over on my Patreon page. She has joined the community and is getting all kinds of exclusive benefits over there. Glad to have her joining us. And you might want to check that out. There'll be a link in the description box below and at the end of the video if you're looking for exclusives or looking to be part of a closer knit community, that's where that's happening. So today I'm working in my single column journaling Bible. This is the ESV version. That page on the left is actually one of my Patreon exclusive videos. So if you want to see how I did that, that's one of the benefits or rewards of being a patron over there. But today I'm in Psalm chapter 71, and I just underlined this phrase, Oh God, who is like you? And I'm using these watercolors today, and I get lots and lots of questions about whether watercolors will bleed through the Bible page. And so I thought, what better way to answer all of your questions than by showing you exactly what happens. So today I'm going to do a very heavy, dark colored watercolor motif on this page. And then the next video you see me do will be on the back of this page and it's going to be much lighter colors just to see what happens if you do watercolor on both pages without prepping your pages. So stick with me for that journey. Be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. Now, as you saw, I was just arranging this little tracing template that I made myself that says, who is like you? I was arranging it behind this page, just kind of straightening it out, using the edge of the page as a guide. And now what I'm doing is using this watercolor masking fluid pen. So this goes on kind of just like a marker, but then it dries to kind of a gummy consistency. And what it does is it doesn't allow watercolor to soak through it to the page. So anywhere I'm drawing with this blue marker right now, at the very end, you're gonna see it will remain the color of your Bible page. So in this case, kind of a creamy color. Now I'm using these watercolors today. It really doesn't matter too much what brand you use as long as it's not the cheapest watercolor brand. Now I did have someone point out that in their Bible, watercolor was soaking through, so again, Always be sure to check these things out on the back page of your Bible in where the indexes are or somewhere that is not going to bother you later. I always test everything, but over my years of Bible journaling, I have never had watercolor bleed through an unprepped page. And that's what this is. I have not prepped this page ahead. This is just a blank Bible page. And what I'm doing is I'm going to be creating a little galaxy effect. So I'm using blues and purples and even a really dark maroon here just to kind of put a covering on the page. Now you can see my page isn't soaking wet, but I'm not really being too careful about how much water I use. Now I let that dry a little bit on its own and then I went ahead and grabbed a blow dryer just to help those spots that weren't completely dry dry up a little bit more. And you definitely want your page dry before you go on to this step. Now here I'm using an eraser but I ended up switching over to my fingers to just gently rub away this masking fluid pen. Now I think that because I used the blow dryer it was actually not coming off as easy as it usually does and so maybe the heat from the blow dryer may have affected how sticky it was but as you can see I am getting it off and I'm being very careful. Finally, I did grab a little gummy eraser and that helped me sort of finish off the last couple words there. But as you can see, it's still the color of the page. Now I wasn't extra careful on the word you and you can see streaks of watercolor did get through, but I'm not concerned about it at all. I'm using this Faber-Castell brush tip pen to just add a little bit of shadowing on one side of each one of these letters. It just kind of cleans up the look of it a little bit and helps it to stand out on the page. Now again, keep watching to the end. You're gonna wanna see what the back of this page looks like. I grabbed my very cheap bottle of white acrylic paint from Walmart and I'm just using a paintbrush and I'm using the actual lid of the paint container as a palette, I guess you could call it. 
and I'm just adding polka dots of varying sizes around on the page. And you can see this is beginning to look sort of like a galaxy pattern. You know, I haven't really done a page or a voiceover for a while. I know that my videos are coming up regularly, but I was severely ahead and now I'm not as severely ahead. So I feel a little bit rusty here today, but hopefully you can give me grace in that. But I do wanna talk about the Lord. Wow, isn't he amazing? Who is like him? This is definitely a verse that I want to come back to and focus on, especially in this really difficult election season and there's lots of racism happening and there's COVID and all of this stuff. I need to just come back and meditate on this fact. Who is like you? If I look to anyone else in my life for satisfaction, for love, to fill my needs, I'm going to be disappointed. And here is another portion of that verse from Psalm 71, verse 19. You who have done great things. And that is something that helps me through these difficult seasons, is just recalling the things that the Lord has done, recalling the ways that he has been provider for me, recalling the ways that he's been faithful to me. Leave a comment down below. Has God done something for you that reminds you of his love, of his faithfulness? I think that's really what we all need to be focusing on at a time like this. So I grabbed my school glue glue stick by Elmer's and I'm just adding that to the back of the vellum here and I'm going to add it to my Bible page. Someone else asked me one time about this glue stick. It's just a glue stick and they were asking if it's archival. It's not. It's just an Elmer's glue stick but for my purposes and what I'm doing in my Bible it is just fine. I'm using that same brush pen here in purple just to outline one edge of each side of that little piece of vellum. Helps it pop out on the page. And here's the big reveal. Let's look at the back of the page, you guys. This is a page with no prep whatsoever. There's no matte gel medium. There's no gesso. Nothing at all. And as you can see, nothing is bleeding through the page. Now you can tell that there's artwork on the back page, but that's just the nature of Bible paper. You can tell there's text on the back of your Bible page as well, if you look carefully. So here you go. Here's part one of do I prep my Bible pages? Like I said, the next video will work on the back of this page with watercolor again and see what happens. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, would you mind just taking a second and giving it a thumbs up? It really helps my YouTube channel out a lot. Other places you might be able to find me are over on Facebook, Because Jesus Bible Journaling, and Instagram, at Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Of course, you can find me over on Patreon if that's something you'd enjoy, getting exclusive Bible journaling templates, just special stuff over there. Don't forget to check out my Etsy store as well if you're looking where to start. And on Facebook, I've still got those freebies in the files section for all of you. If you're interested in my general art journey, you can follow me over on my Artsy Bits YouTube channel where I just do creative things. Jump into the word of God for yourself today. It is amazing.